I changed my mind. I went ahead and put them out of my basket back into my main tank and I'm getting ready to pour all these fine ones in. There just ain't a whole lot of room. I'm going to have to build me a bigger tank than to start processing batches this large. Generally I'm processing smaller stuff, much, much finer material. Right here's a pretty bad and big batch of fingers you need to be processing at once. Generally I'm processing real fine pins in this tank. I tend to like my AP tank better than I do the sulfuric cell for doing this kind of stuff. Anyway, I've got that put in. This right here is my air bubbler device from an aquarium pump. Couple straws hooked to the tank, JB welded together. Little plastic straws from out of a fast food joint in between the two. Use a toothpick to punch holes in them. Works pretty well for a bubbler. Okay, can I put this thing in here one handed? Yeah, I'll manage. I needed to have had a bigger tank. Might have even should have had this put in here before I put all these scrap in my way. But this is going to be a tight fit. But. It will work. It will work just fine. There we go. Shove it off down the side there by those. Snap the lid on. Spin my overflow hose over here and grab my so and this right here I guess will work for this. Your vent tube goes into an overflow cup. And that way, as it spits and burps when it's running, all your excess fluid will run down inside this little catch jar and you won't have a mess. And aside from reaching over here to the wall outlet and plugging it on, they're plugging it in anyway, rather, and getting my language correct. Aside from doing that, we're done for loading up the tank. At this point, we just let it run for two or three days. The foil should be removed by then for sure. There is a chance that if it's real thin, the foils will be removed in just a few hours. So well, there we go. Little itty bitty aquarium pump over here in the corner. Get them out of any pet shop. So all I'm using is an aquarium pump. Aquarium tube hooked up to my tank over here with cards in it. And there you go. Small, simple AP tank. That over there, that's a nice cream jug. This one here is going to be the one I use to make my next tank out of. That's a little hot plate I got thrown in there that I use for evaporations and different stuff. Different topic. But yeah, I'm going to make one out of that. For right now, that's all I got, and it works quite well. When the foils are removed from the cards, I'll go through the process of recovering them and refining them further in the next video. And thanks for watching.